just the latest from Helene's impact. The storm killed more than 40 people in North Carolina. That number just keeps going up. More than 400,000 people in North Carolina still don't have power. At least that number is coming down. Cell service and internet outages remain an issue, making it more difficult for officials to reach people who need it and let them know where help is available. WREL's Eric Miller is in Buncombe County speaking with people who are just starting to get some of the first help. Eric is live tonight with some of those recovery efforts. Eric. Well, Deborah, those recovery efforts definitely needed as we're seeing more and more of scenes just like this one as the French Broad River and other rivers here in the western part of the state go down. Homes, businesses and more all lost as residents continue to struggle to find food and water. At Wilson's Riverfront RV Park, it's a vanishing act of the worst kind. There's not a building left. There was a two story house there. It's gone. Receding floodwaters revealing homes, shops and RVs gone. We've had this business for 50 years now, and I don't know if we can recover from this. Owner James Rivas dealing not only with this, but four days without a source of food or water. I've just been, you know, rationing it out best as I could. Monday, hundreds of thousands of pounds of aid from federal, state and local governments have been flowing into Western NC, but getting it to people remains a challenge. Buncombe County launched four distribution sites Monday. Hundreds of drivers lined up, those supplies vanishing within the hour. Now we know that FEMA has set up three distribution sites across western North Carolina as well. The city of Asheville's also stepping up with its own site. But again, demand is so great. You saw those lines out there. Uh, these agencies working to get more distribution sites set up for the coming days and to get services online that can bring some of this aid out to people who need it, who might be trapped or might not have working cars after this terrible storm. In Asheville, Eric Miller, WRAL News.